name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be all about how I killed my toothache in a matter of minutes. I'm creating this video. Typically, I don't do videos like this on my channel, but I'm so happy that my tooth is not hurting. I'm just excited to share it with anyone that I can. Um, hopefully, it helps you if you're going through this too. So, um, I did crack my tooth, one of my back teeth, um, a while ago. And I've just been putting it off, putting it off. I scheduled a dentist appointment and then something else will pop up and I'm like, okay, look, I'll just go ahead and reschedule. So I played that game for a while, which I definitely don't recommend playing, but I did, to be honest. And um, <clears throat> the pain wasn't really, you know, bad initially. Um, but, you know, the longer you allow a problem to grow, um, the more pain you typically find yourself in. So that's where I'm at now. So now that I am no longer in my home state, no longer in my home city, I'm transitioning down to where I moved to. Um, <clears throat> I have to find a new dentist. So I did find a dental office that I'm going to, but I can't. I couldn't get in until I think it's next week or the week after that. Either way, it's not as soon as I wanted to get in. So what I've been doing is I've been taking ibuprofen as much as I can, um, which I really don't like because I don't like taking medicine constantly. You know, I will do it if I'm in pain, obviously, but I don't like doing it. So today I'm going to share with you how I was able to, like I said, kill my toothache in a matter of minutes. Um, I do talk um, pretty frequently throughout the day. You know, I do talk for um, work. You know, I, I consider YouTube a form of work. Um, as well as being able to interact with different um, companies. You know, sometimes we do do a phone call or a Zoom call um, to look at different collaboration opportunities, um, as well as my podcast and just different things. You know, I, I do enjoy talking and I do talk um, pretty much for a living. So, you know, I was feeling myself not really wanting to create videos because I really did not want to talk feeling myself not being as social because I didn't want to talk. And although people understood where I was coming from, because a lot of people have had um, toothaches, you know, experienced how bad toothaches feel. But, ooh, I just woke up this morning. I tried some things and my mouth feels so much better. Like, I'm just excited and thankful that I can even talk without being in pain and without taking ibuprofen this morning. So if you are interested in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into it. So the first thing that I did this morning is I did a salt water rinse. So what I did is I got a cup, um, I put some warm water in it and then also salt. I did stir it up and then I went ahead and I gargled. Um, it was about, um, probably like half a cup. I gargled it, uh, made sure that I swished it specifically on the side that is giving me the most pain, um, and I went ahead and I spit it out. Now, every time I do a saltwater rinse, and I do want to say this disclosure, I'm not a dentist, I'm not a doctor, I'm not here to diagnose myself or anyone else or to tell you what you need to do. I'm just explaining my experience and what I did to help me, and if you want to try it, go ahead, but again, I'm not, you know, a, a dentist at all. Um, so, uh, and I also want to say this, there are many reasons that your teeth may be hurting, you know, you could be a cavity, an infection in your gums, um, <clears throat> I don't know, something related to your nerves. There's just a lot of reasons why you can be experiencing tooth pain. So ultimately you do want to seek um, medical attention if, you know, it, if you feel like you should. I know I'm seeking medical attention, but in the meantime, I needed a workaround. So this is my workaround. So I went ahead and I gargled with salt water, warm water and salt, and I swished it around and I, you know, was done there. Every time I do a salt water rinse, I want to brush my teeth after because I don't want that salt sitting on my teeth. So I went ahead and I brushed my teeth like I typically do. And I floss first. So I floss and then I brush my teeth like I typically do. Um, after that, I kind of just let it settle to see how it was going to feel. I thought the salt water rinse would kill it all and it did not. I mean, it helped my pain um, calm down a little bit, but I still could feel it. So I'm like, no, you know, I tried to lay back down and go to sleep and it just wasn't happening. So I got back up and I decided to do a tea tree oil rinse. So what I did is I added water and a couple drops of tea tree oil to the water. And um, I would honestly say I did more than a couple drops. 
it was more than just two. I was just shaking it in there. Now, I would recommend only using a couple if you do want to try this because when I put all the drops of the tea tree oil in there, um, and this is the tea tree oil that I used. When I put all the drops in there, um, it just, it smelled really strong, obviously, you know, tea tree oil, but it also, it tastes, horrible and I didn't go in expecting it to taste good or anything like that but I wasn't expecting how it was going to taste but nevertheless I went ahead and I gargled with um I probably did like and this may be too much again I recommend doing just a, a few but I probably put like six pumps of tea tree oil and water had a cup of water and six pumps of tea tree oil in there and I went ahead and I gargled um, I made sure that I swished <clears throat> specifically on this side, if it's a side, what's the side that's giving me pain? And um, immediately, like I could feel my mouth numbing. It felt like my lips were numbing, my gums were numbing. And then when I, I initially, when I was, you know, feeling that, I was like, wow, am I supposed to be doing this? Because I do want the pain to go away, but you know, I don't want to cause any more problems. So I got a little scared, to be honest. And then I Googled it and I saw that it was a natural remedy. You know, some people have tried that and it's worked and it's, it was recommended on some sites to do that throughout the day to kill your toothache pain um, as a home remedy. So I tried that. I felt just everything going on. And I wasn't, you know, after a minute after I Googled it, I wasn't really nervous anymore because I'm like, you know, I'd rather my mouth be a little numb than throbbing in pain like it has been. So I went ahead and I laid back down just to kind of see how everything would feel. And I started to feel so much better. It kind of left it no longer numb, but it provided like a tingling sensation. It felt like it cleaned out anything, like if there was an infection forming or whatever the, the case may be to cause the pain, it felt like it was kind of killing it. Um, so after that, I was feeling so much better. Um, and that's pretty much all that I did. I did also see on Google that people um, we're using hydrogen peroxide and water as a rinse as well. I don't have any hydrogen peroxide. I literally just moved into my new place. So, um, yeah, I don't have too many, too many things to work with. So I wanted to find some things that I did have. I had tea tree oil, I had water and I have some salt, um, and toothpaste, toothbrush, floss. So that's what I used. Um, again, just to kind of sum it up, I gargled with salt water. I went ahead and I flossed my teeth after, brushed my teeth, gave it just a moment to kind of let everything sink in. And then I went ahead and did a um, tea tree oil rinse with water and tea tree oil. I would recommend using probably like two drops of tea tree oil instead of using like the six drops that I did, but I was desperate because my mouth was really, really on fire. Um, it feels so much better. I did, like I said, not have to take ibuprofen. What I am going to try to do for the rest of the, of the day is repeat it. So around lunchtime, I'm going to do a salt water rinse and I'm gonna do another tea tree oil rinse. Um, I'm gonna still, you know, brush my teeth, floss, and I'm gonna try to do the same exact remedy at night. I'm gonna do that for a few days. Um, and then I'll probably, um, I don't know if I'll substitute the salt water or, you know, substitute, like stop the tea tree oil for a minute and then just focus on the salt water rinses. I'm not really sure what I'll do in a few days. It just depends on how I feel. But I'm gonna be using that remedy as well as ibuprofen when I need it to kill my tooth pain. But like I said, I don't really like taking ibuprofen back to back to back. So if you are like me, if you are experiencing tooth pain, if you do wanna try this, I do recommend this method. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just explaining what has worked for me. So yeah, right now I feel great. So I'm gonna take advantage of it, make a couple videos, make a couple phone calls. Um, my kids are still asleep, but as soon as they get up, I'm gonna be so much more lively and interactive than I have been um, <laughs> the last few days. Because I've been having to tell them, you know, mommy doesn't feel good, you know, we can play, but I'm, I'm kind of limited as to how many jokes I can make, how long I can talk, because it was just throbbing. I had a huge headache. My whole, it just, it just felt horrible. Like I wouldn't wish that pain on my worst enemy. I honestly forgot how bad tooth aches feel. Like I really did. I, mm -mm. no, I will never, I don't want to say never because it, it may be the time that I do it, but I, I will try to never um, push back any dental appointments and delay any dental work going forward because it's all fun and games until it's not. 
Um, so again, um, this is the tea tree oil that I used. I don't think you have to use a specific brand or anything. This is just what I had. So this is what I decided to use. Um, this is what it looks like. And then for salt, I just used just some salt, salt that I cook with, that I eat with. That's it. That is it. So I really hope that this video helps someone out there. If you have any other um, teeth remedies that can, or tooth remedies that can help someone else watching this video, please go ahead and leave them down below in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I hope all of you uh, that are watching, if you have a toothache, I hope that you find some way to um, get relief for it. Um, this is going to be, like I said, my way until I get to the dentist, but I wish you all the best of luck. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.